let's get going. Now let's put some fire in this rocket. Nine months in space, that was never part of the plan. NASA astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore were supposed to be home in eight days, but technical glitches kept them stranded in orbit. Now they are finally set to return. But after so long in space, their bodies may struggle to adapt. The human body was never built for space, but for nine months, Sunita and Butch have been living in microgravity, an environment that wreaks havoc on bones, muscles, and even the brain. And now they are headed back to a planet where gravity rules. Sunita and Butch may return with bones as fragile as glass. In microgravity. bones don't face the same pressure as they do on earth over time this makes them weaker astronauts can lose up to 1 to 2% of their bone density each month for sunita and butch that means 9 months of bone loss making fractures a real risk body systems most of them recover um back to their baseline in that 45 um day period the one that takes a little bit longer is the the bone and re- and reabsorbs reabsorbing calcium that may have been lost that can um take onwards of a year um maybe a little bit longer sometimes to regain the total amount of calcium back that um might have been um shed while they were in space and it's not just bones their muscles have taken a hit too without gravity the leg muscles may have shrunk this condition known as baby feet makes walking incredibly difficult at first for sunita and butch even standing up might feel like running a marathon and then there's the puffy face problem both williams and wilmore may experience the classic puffy face chicken legs effect in space fluids shift upward causing swollen faces and pressure in the head this pressure can affect the eyes causing blurry vision and even changes to the shape of the eyeball this condition known as space flight associated neuroocular syndrome can last for weeks after returning to earth sunita and butch may have to deal with this for weeks after returning Space radiation is another threat. Without Earth's atmospheric shield, Sunita and Butch were exposed to high-energy radiation. This can damage DNA, raise cancer risk, and even affect the brain. Radiation has a number of effects on cells, but basically, you're worried about it um, depending on the kind of dose breaking down um, the way the cells work and potentially introducing. Um, breaks and changes into the proteins and the, the DNA that's within the cell. Mentally also, 9 months in space can be very tough. Isolation, stress and distance from loved ones can mess with mood, memory and sleep. Sunita and Butch may need psychological support even after they are back home. Once back, their recovery won't be easy. NASA has a plan: intense physical therapy, diet monitoring, and regular checkups, all designed to help Sunita and Butch regain their strength and adapt back to life on Earth. We have a um, a plan for um, we call it a, a reconditioning uh, plan, uh, and and I, I described a little bit about how when crew go into space, their body adapts to being in space. Well, they kind of have to. do the same thing but in reverse they have to readapt to being back on the ground but recovery could take time for sunita and butch 9 months of space travel means some health issues may linger from blurry vision to weak bones it could be months before they feel fully like themselves again their return will mark the end of a mission filled with unexpected twists and challenges but one thing is certain 
Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore's courage and determination have turned them into true space heroes.